everybody, hope you're all well. If you're new here to my channel, then hello and welcome. My name is Luisa and I upload videos all about fashion and beauty. I apologize for not uploading a video last week and I was really contemplating on whether I should upload a video this week. I don't want to come across as insensitive to what's going on right now. I mean, these are crazy times that we're living. But then again, yesterday I thought that maybe it would be a good idea to film a video for all of you guys that you just want to take your mind off of it. You just want to distract yourself from normality for 10 minutes or so and watch something unimportant, silly really. So. This video is for all of you guys and today we're talking about what I really think of some of the it bags of 2020. I had to start this video with Bottega Veneta and of course talk about the pouch. I mean Daniel Lee, their creative director, has completely transformed the fashion house and brought it back into the forefront. The uh, pouch bag uh, in particular was tremendously popular last year and let me tell you that the craze is gonna continue guys, it's not going anywhere and I don't know, I, I personally love it, there is not much I can tell about this bag other than I love how modern it is, how chic it is at the same time, I like this relaxed and chilled vibe it gives. I haven't seen one in person myself but I've seen many people talking about the the quality of the leather and how soft and malleable it is and it's just like a modern a modern bag, a modern bag that really works and it, you know it's a pleasure for everybody to carry. Um, what I don't really like is of course the price tag. Listen, it's Poteca Veneta, you know you're gonna pay a premium for it. But other than that, I absolutely adore it. My views have to change completely uh, about the next bag, however, we're still talking about Bottega Veneta, but this time we're talking about the Bottega Veneta padded cassette bag. Obviously each to their own, and if you love this bag, good for you, but there is something about this crossbody bag that really is not to my liking. We don't vibe, I don't know why. I just feel like this large weave simply doesn't do it for me. I mean, I do love the Bottega Veneta classic weave style, but this massive, big kind of weave, it's not my thing. I also find it very structured, although I feel like it's trying not to be. It's very bizarre, I cannot really explain it. Think the big weave is trying to give it a more relaxed vibe, yet it's not. I just feel it's still very structured for what it is. It comes in an array of colors that you can choose from and some of the colors it comes in, listen, are very fun for the spring and summer months, but I just, I, 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 if I had the money to buy it, I would say no and I would 100% go for the pouch instead. Eat bag number three and we're talking about the Prada re-edition nylon bag. I'm not mad at it. I know some people hate it because obviously it is a nylon bag but I am not mad at it. You know, it's young, it's fun. It comes in a plethora of different colors that you can go from. I like the fact that because it's an island bag, it is carefree, you don't have to worry too much about it. I mean, it's not leather, you're not afraid you're gonna scratch it. And as I said, it comes in a plethora of different colors and it's a great way if you want to, you know, introduce a little bit of color into your wardrobe, especially as we're moving towards the spring and summer months. I personally wouldn't purchase this handbag because I prefer to splurge my money into more classic designs. I don't think this handbag is here to stay, but it's very trendy at the moment. And listen, if you want to splurge the money and buy it, good for you. The eight bag number four that we're talking about today is the Chanel 19. Now this bag technically came out in 2019, hence the name, but let me tell you the craze is not slowing down. So, so popular, people are going mad about it even in 2020 and I believe this bag is here to stay. I personally love this handbag, it's literally one of my favorite bags. I think it is so modern, it is so fresh, yet again it is classic and quintessentially Chanel. 
it has this trio of chains and that interlock with each other and I just find it to be so so beautiful. I'm not sure whether it is part of the Chanel permanent collection yet but let me tell you, this bag is here to stay. I believe in a few years time it's going to become one of the iconic Chanel handbags and I just love it. Of course it is Chanel, it is again very, very, very expensive to the point that, you know, for me personally th that price is just way out of my league but if you have the money for it, it's a fantastic bag to go for. It comes in tweed, it comes in leather as well and yeah, I just love it. Now the fifth and final eat bag that we're talking about is the Dior Book Tote. A lot of fashion houses are releasing similar design handbags. You know, Louis Vuitton has released On The Go, which is very, very similar. Uh, Chanel has a similar style handbag. I believe the most recognizable of all is the Dior Book Tot. They are bringing a small version of uh, the original Book Tot out this year and people are going crazy for it. What do I really think about this handbag? I wouldn't personally purchase this handbag because I think it's ridiculously expensive for what it is. Basically you pay for a canvas bag and you pay thousands of pounds just to purchase something that is canvas, something that it might fray, something you know it can be easily stained although I have I have heard that you can send it to the dry cleaners. The, uh, the Dior oblique design there is no doubt, it's so so iconic and I do really really like the two colors that they uh, bring it out, the beautiful burgundy, I found it stunning and the blue is also really really good but yeah I just don't see what the craze is all about from what I know um, the bag doesn't have any internal pockets, it's basically a piece of canvas sewn together and I'm not really sure whether it's gonna withstand the test of time. I don't know if in 10 years down the line we're gonna see people still carrying the book toad. I do like the fact, however, that you can monogram it on the back with your initials, but I have heard since the bag is so popular it may take weeks until they be able to provide that service to you. So there you have it. These were my views on five eat bags for 2020. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, as always, don't forget to give it a good old thumbs up. Do stay safe and I'll see you all next Thursday with another video. Bye you guys.